This box seems pretty light for what is expected to be in it. So here I go with an unboxing of a new toy, sort of. But I kind of also need it. I always find a way to justify buying the things that I want as it's needed on the homestead. And let me tell you what's going on, what this is leading up to before I open the box, is that where I put the spiral herb garden, I also intend to put a pond. The problem is, where I built the spiral herb garden and where the pond needs to go, almost looks like it's where my main feed for my power runs from the pole to the house. And this house was built in the 1970s and it has underground burial that's not inside of any kind of conduit that I can see. And I'm not exactly sure where the power line runs, but looking at the pole away from the house and looking at the meter, Looks like the power line probably runs right through where I need to put the pond. And since the pond is almost three foot deep, I need to make sure that the power line is not there. And one way that I know to do that is using a, hopefully this is exactly what I need to use. Yes. Perfect. So I bought a metal detector, the Equinox 800 to be exact, Mine Lab Equinox 800. And I also bought an additional 15 inch coil made by Mine Lab that is for searching deeper. Matter of fact, not only did I buy the metal detector, I bought the 6 inch coil, the 15 inch coil, which were optional, and some other stuff. Because I've kind of always had an interest and wanted to get into metal detecting. But I'm kind of one of those people that when I do something, I want kind of like the best I can afford. And because I couldn't really afford this particular metal detector at the time, or actually whatever was best back then, because this is something that's been going on for years... I just always kept putting off buying it. Well, I've got the money now. And uh, this is kind of expensive. But uh, I think all in all, the metal detector and then all the accessories. So two more coils and, you know, like a, like a fine bag and the pinpoint metal detector. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me just get all the stuff and put it in this one box and kind of show you what all I bought. Alright, so this is the stuff that's come in so far. The Equinox 800. I bought this gasket scraper as a way to dig with, but I also have a, like, plug shovel coming. Be here tomorrow. I got the Profine 35. The 15-inch Mine Lab coil. The 6-inch Mine Lab coil. This fine bag. I don't know how you pronounce that. It looked like it was pretty cool. It's got a, you know, pocket on the outside for your, uh, for your pinpoint metal detector. It's got a little thing there on the side. A few pockets, a zippered area, and a area where you put fines. But, uh, so basically, I've like, always had areas of this property. I was like, oh, this would be pretty cool. Like hide some treasures there. I'm sure it'll just be like nails and bottle caps. But uh, so the primary reason why I bought this is to try to locate the power line. I'm basically going to start at the pole, see if I get a signal, then walk toward the house so that way I can figure out where it's at. If I can't pick up a signal on the power line, my other option is to call the power company and ask them to come out, which I don't really want to do because... You know, I can dig down an inch or two and then sweep and see if I got a signal. Dig down an inch or two, sweep, see if I got a fake signal. And uh, just hope I miss it. But, you know, I would like to know where it's at because more than once, like when I was driving fence posts in the ground, not knowing how deep it was, um, I know that now unshielded cable has to be, I think, around 
Um, has to be below frost line, which is 18 inches in Kentucky. But I don't know about, you know, back when this house was built, how deep did it have to be? Was it two inches? Was it 36 inches? Was it somewhere in between? So I'm hoping this metal detector will help me find uh, where it's at. And if not, we'll update the video. Picked up this Mine Lab Equinox 800. Just kind of playing around in my yard. My first find worth talking about. A quarter from 19. Can't really tell what the date is on there. I don't have my glasses on. Should have brought my glasses. Pretty old. I think it's either 19... 64 it might be 84 I'll take a look at it when I get home and get it cleaned up just out here playing around trying to get used to the machine haven't really used it this is actually the first time I've used it and uh, I watched some YouTube videos on setting this up to be because I come out here and there's so much metal I literally am picking up trash but um, I went back inside and watched some YouTube videos on how to turn the sensitivity down and to only hit for coins or other precious metals. And that's the settings I'm using now. And it seems to be much better. So, we'll see. This is one of those videos that I started all the way back in the end of June. Um, I actually got this metal detector on June 22nd the first use was June 28th and now it is November 28th I believe and um, of course with all the cancer treatments and stuff I just didn't get time to update it and to be honest I even forgot I recorded the video so to finish this off this is the fine bag that I already mentioned this is the dig shovel that hadn't come in yet this is a pinpointer and this is all of the stuff I found mostly junk in my yard um, a lot of nails a lot of bottle caps um, a flashlight and which actually I've got the case to that I'm surprised I found that uh, digging for something else I found some sort of ceramic a lot of old nails what looks to be part of an old wheel weight with still got some metal on it. Um, a lot of aluminum. And then uh, the quarter ended up being a 1987, not a 1967. A drill bit. A stake of some sort. And all of this stuff right here, I started to notice a pattern. Kind of move this out. This is just junk. Most of this up here is just junk. But you'll start to notice that this stuff right here all has a pattern. And if you look, what this ends up being are like part of horse saddles and stirrups, that sort of thing. There was actually a lot of this stuff in the yard. You see, well, basically what I found. Um, all concentrated in one part of the yard. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, again, that's mostly all junk. An old drill bit. Uh, mostly all junk here. Uh, the only coin that I found was the quarter. And just wanted to update this video because I am actually going to post this now. So, this is only doing the front yard of my homestead. It's about a quarter of an acre, and eventually I plan to do the sides and the backyard, and uh, just to see what else I can find. 